Hi guys, Steve here. Let's look at this final chapter in your management accounting course notes to have a look at. You've checked everything out and I told you to leave this till the end. Let's go through it now in a visual way. Now that you understand the big picture of management accounting, this chapter will make a lot more sense. Okay, so you can take your notes right here. And I'd like to review an idea that's introduced in financial accounting usually. That's the idea of a T account. Okay, a classic convention in accounting linked to the duality concept. Every transaction has a dual effect on the records of the business, on the business itself. Okay, and in financial accounting, you, you remember that Assets and expenses are on the debit side. Liabilities and equity are on the credit side. But we don't even need to worry about that because in management accounting right now, we're working with assets and expenses. We can just think about it's plus over here, minus over here. That's the debit side of the T account. And the minus on that right side is the credit. So for our simple purposes at this point, inflow on the left, outflow on the right. Okay, and we have two accounts to start with, labor and materials. Okay, so we are paying for labor and materials throughout the course of business and we are debiting our expenses here and crediting cash somewhere else. Okay, so look at that. Now, in management accounting, we're going to have some inventory accounts. We'll call that work in progress one. Then we can have WIP two. Okay. And when we're all done making work in progress, Hopefully it turns into some finished goods. So what is happening? Simply this, everybody. Think of it like this, okay? It's outflow from the credit, inflow to the whip. As we complete our whip, okay, we are assigning materials and labor, okay? to the whip. Guys, that would be direct, easy to trace to the cost unit. Then at some point we do more work to the whip out from whip one into whip two. Okay, we will allocate more direct costs. And then finally, when we're all done, it becomes the finished goods. So we've got essentially three categories of inventory, raw materials, work in progress, finished goods always out from the credit, in from the debit. Now, we also have a bit of a complication. Remember, we have indirect costs. So some of our materials, some of our labor is also indirect. Maintenance on the machinery, maybe some lubricating oils. Okay, so that's gonna be my manufacturing overheads, everybody. Now, when overheads are absorbed, once again, it's out, everybody, on the credit, in on the debit, okay? So as overheads are absorbed into our cost units, okay, we have a reduction in that overhead T account. And now, everybody, if you understand it to this point, as you know, the expenditure on overheads might not equal the overheads actually absorbed. So that, then we have the over under absorption. So we might have a balancing figure here, here or here. Guys, that would be the over and under absorption. Okay. There you have it. Now, that's how this works, the flow of the T accounts. So let's just look at one question now and you're going to see that you don't need to memorize all of those transactions. Just remember what I showed you. In on the debit side, out on the credit side. So if we look at a question here, 
Okay. The issue of direct materials to the production department. Okay, so that would be out of materials. Direct, that means it's going into WIP, isn't it, everybody? Oh, look at this. Direct materials only go there. So I can solve it without even looking at the others. Okay. Credit material control account. Don't worry about this idea of control account. We'll do that when we talk about financial accounting at our next at our next encounter. Guys, there you go. That is the secret to the cost accounting, debits, credits, and T accounts. And you might not even see a question on this in your exam, okay? And if you do, 99% of the time, you can solve it with the sketch that I just showed you right here. Okay, guys. Good luck on your exams next week. Steve, signing out for now.